beautiful fish. Oh, oh Lord, get a picture of this. Wow. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Tight Lines. I'm Dennis Wilson, and my guest today is Judy Green. Again, Judy, I figured after we got rained out that last last year that uh, I'd invite you again. Oh, I'm glad you did. <laughs> and we're at Musquash Lake. It's the uh, Centennial uh, Musquash Tournament. And with me is Dwight Day, the sales manager for Centennial. How you doing? Hi, Dennis. Good to see you again. And she's got a good turnout. Yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. Everybody's up and around and getting their boats in the water. It's. I always like this tournament. Uh, of course, now I won it the first year. That's right. Well, that always helps, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> but it looks like it's going to be a good day. This fog's going to burn off. Looking good. And I'm going to have the camera with me to show everybody what a, a bass tournament looks like. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Should work pretty good. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Dwight, by the way, is uh, the major sponsor for this tournament, and I know all the fishermen appreciate your sponsorship. It, it really helps. Well, we've been glad to be a part of it. This is uh, being the third year that uh, we've had the tournament down here, and it's uh, gaining more momentum each year. Well, with your sponsorship, it's it's a good tournament, and appreciate it. Well, we're glad to glad to be part of it again. Thank you. Good enough. Anyway, stay with us. We're going to try to catch some bass in a bass tournament, maybe winner. That's right. Five feet of water. Five feet? Six. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. You excited? Yes. I always get excited in a bass tournament. I don't know why. After all these years. You think it's come old half, it doesn't. Ah, here, we tuck that in there. Stick sticker just like that. Okay. I just didn't want to bounce out on you. There's the other pair. They're on the floor. We're in a little wee bit more water here, Judy. Three feet? We were. Look at that log. It's not a good log, but it's a log. It's a strange lake. Oh, oh, that was a hit. Not a good hit, though. I think it was a perch. Something grabbed it. Maybe that garlic stuff isn't any good. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's not. No. You're saying we should be using some scent, are you? There's one, Judy. Awesome. Keeper. It's a keeper. Grab the net. Yep. <laughs> get him, Judy, get him. I can't get him there. <laughs> it's a keeper. Oh, God. Our got first, abused. Our first. Oh, look. oh, look. Just by the skin. Just barely had it. Good thing he didn't thrash one more time. All right. First keeper. You want to put that in the live well right under Steve's feet while I keep it? That's about two pounds. Got him. This wood, sometimes in the spring, will hold fish because of the heat. Mm -hmm. But uh, the water is already so so warm. Go right down that side, Jude. The water's already so warm that they don't really need the wood. Like That's the, true, yeah. Uh, the sun and the heat of the air will actually warm the water around the wood and it'll wick it right down into the water, eh? Mm-hmm. The same thing that a deadhead melts out first. Yeah. 
That makes sense. Only it's wicking heat up, but then the air warms up more than the water and it wicks it down. Well, I knew you did, but we're just telling the viewers out there. <laughs> That's true. We'll get a fish off that tree later. Now we're casting at any bit of wood and see what happens. Well, Judy, I think we'll move to another spot. Yeah. Good idea. We've kind of toasted this one, got one fish out of it. Didn't pan out very good. Not skunk. Not skunk, though. I'm going to have to trawl out through here a little bit until we get into some water. Yeah. Then nail her. I'll get him. Don't worry about it. Watch yourself. Swoosh! <laughs> that is a keeper. It is a keeper, yeah. Well, I'll be darned. I'll be darned. Five hours later, I catch another keeper bass on a sluggo. I just want to get this out of the water because it's dang Okay. <laughs> but look at the belly on him. Yeah, he's got some bread to him. He's fat. So he's been eating. Well, there's two. There's I'll put two. that in the live well, Judy. Okay to go with the other guy. Oh, a little bit of water. Now, let's see if we can catch another one. See if there's another one in there? Well, I just caught a little wee guy, and, and then I got that bigger. guy. Let's mm -hmm. see if there's three in there. I got one there. Judy, way back there. Oh, it's half decent fish, Judy. Yeah, it is. Ready? Net it. Hey, Judy, got him. Your hat. I don't care. That's three. That's three. That's a half decent fish. Darn right it is. Here, Judy. What? You want to put the line well? Okay, got him. Yeah. Thank you. Is that right? Now that's how they're supposed to hit. That's how they're supposed to hit. No fooling around. No, just come out and grab it. Right. Nothing finicky. He just darted out, grabbed it, and went to go back to the rock. Right. I got it right off that rock. See that big rock? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Basically where he should be. Dig these fish out. You want to hold on to the net, or the bag. Sure. I can find it right in. There we go. Uh, just hit that switch. Phil, pull it up. No, that one halfway. There. Yeah. All right. Oh, they're alive. Ah! Use that catch release. Ready? Miss. Oh, I'm going to get soaked here. These things are still so spunky. There's one. Oh, I just got three. Three little guys. Hey. Just three little guys. You want to take them up? Okay. All right. Look at all the water all over me. Nice catch, man. Thank you. See the fish? Okay. Oh, there's, there's nobody up front. Move them up again, buddy. Move them up again, buddy. Three. Go red. Go red. Real face. Real red. Yeah. Yeah. You two. You get wet. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave the water in there. Come on, you. 
He's worked very hard. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of guys had follows and they wouldn't bite. And some guys got around. And he got mad at him. What do we call it? What, the snapper? Yeah. Big fish. Two sex. What? There we go. Yes, three little guy. A tough day. We had fun, Adrian. Yeah, a lot of fun. You don't always get what you want, but that can be in a way. Let's go fishing. So what can you do? I'm a twin way. For three fish. Five pounds, four ounces. Not Five, bad. four. Hey. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't need to wait, big one. They're all in the All right. Where do you go, dude? Yeah, I'll sign them. You say what, 13 pounds? There we go. The host of the tournament. There's no fish. Nice fish. What do we got here, Jeffrey? Six. Six fish. No penalties. All alive. Chicken. You didn't splash me, so that's a big thing. You're close. Ball and chain. Oh, there goes the chain. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 12, 14. 12, 14, not bad, Jim. Okay. Three five. fish is. I was wrong. Three three. Three two and a half. Three two and a half. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But yeah. three we hooked there after you yeah. and then all of the ending period. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, in third place with 12 pounds, 7 ounces, Richard Green and Richard Green Jr. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go, buddy? Okay, all right, turn around. There you go. Smile. All around. The first place team. Not only did they uh, come in first place, they also won the Lunker, which uh, pays out $460. The first place cash pays out at $1,106, with a total weight of 14 pounds, 8.5 ounces, Hanley and Hooper. And as well, we have two bird's eye maple carved bass by Dennis Wilson. And uh, something a little different for your trophy case, guys. Okay, bro. Hanley and Hooper. Way to go, guys. Way to go, Rook. Thank you, Rook. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Turn right into the side. Rook, you guys want a picture? Just gonna check. Hang in there. Hang in there. Everybody wants to know uh, the winning scenario, Bruce and Ronnie. Well, what you do that everybody else didn't, besides catch fish. Come on, well, now. everybody caught fish. I guess uh, <laughs> persistence. Persistence. And uh, uh, we we figured we knew where a few fish were, and and, and went after them hard. And they were there, so yeah. we were lucky. We caught them, and we uh, we landed a big one. To, to the kicker top, fish. The kicker fish. Yeah. Yes. And well, it makes a difference. Again, Bruce, Ronnie, yep. way to go! You're off to a good start again. Bruce and Ronnie are. Uh, Hard to beat last year, and I guess maybe hard to beat again okay. this year. Okay. Anyways, that's our show for today. Uh, I'd like to introduce again, thanks, Jeff Wilson, and the big sponsor, Dwight Day. All right, 
And I think, boy, she was a pretty good tournament. <laughs> so that's our show for today. Join us next time on Tight Lines. Thanks, Dennis. Right. Way to go, boy. Hey, here, Jay McAllister, McAllister. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, yeah. Yeah. Six Go on, Mike. Okay, thanks. What about it? Okay. What about it?